Hello everybody, welcome to my What's in My Bank video. So if you're new to the channel, a little introduction. Uh, my name's Squidgymon. I open unclaimed black market containers. Um, I've spent nearly 400 million gold on them at this point. So I've gained a lot of loot that I don't have the heart to delete or, or sell. So it's just sitting in my bank. Now it's all sitting in the main spot of the bank. Um, this character is quite old, so I've got some other stuff from in the other bags, which I'm going to go through. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I've got, because some people have been asking. So let's see. Let's see all the wasted gold, yeah? Oh, God. <laughs> so right off the bat, you can see I have a lot of duplicate mounts. Um, these are all ones I've opened from boxes, and I just can't I can't get rid of them, you know, because some of them are so rare. So first off, we've got Clutch of Jeekin from Phone of Thunder. Again, pretty rare pretty special it took me a long time to get um drake the north wind i don't know why that's in here because i i get quite a lot of them and i do not like them um but yeah reigns of the blazing drake from dragon soul took me a long time to get that too i think i got that from a box actually swift sully and panther now this mount i've been trying to get the swift sully and tiger for a long time from a box i don't want to buy it um and this always <laughs> always debates me because it's the only other mount in the game that has swift zalian in it um so yeah i this is sitting in here too death charges reigns from baron riven there also quite rare hawk strider from kale first in magister's terrace not too bad core hound chain now this i think is from the anniversary in warlords of Draenor. i can't remember which one though but i never bothered to get it at the time and now i've got two um, Blue Proto Drake from Skadi the Ruthless in Utgard Pinnacle. Swift Rosashi Raptor. Now, I lost my mind the first time I opened this mount up. I, it was episode 24, I believe, and I actually screamed so loud that the video got age restricted for being overtly sexual. <laughs> and then I opened another one in Dustwallow Marsh, I believe. So, yeah, that's it, just sitting in the bank. Valajar Stormwing from the Legion Rep, I think, for Stormheim. Slate Primordial Direhorn. I believe this is from the Zandalai Warbringers in Pandaria. Blue Drake from I of Eternity Malagos. This is a cool one. Phoenix Hellcore. Obviously, I've already got it, so it's just sitting here. But, um, yeah, pretty, pretty rare one. I still need to get the green one, so we're still working on that. Green Proto Drake from... Shalazar Basin in uh, Northrend. Southwind. I can't remember where this is from. I think it's from Alakir. Um, or maybe it's the Northwind. But yeah, either way. Garbo. No, Northwind is from the dungeon. So yeah. Garbo. Free <laughs> Reigns of the White Polar Bear. Of course. From Storm Peaks. The daily or weekly, I think. Ashes of Alar. Uh, Tempest Keep. Now, <laughs> Sandbox Tigers. Okay, so... I got these from a special loot chest, I think in episode 100, I can't remember. Um, these drop from one of the TCG loot boxes. I cannot remember what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen for you now. Now, these loot boxes have a very small chance of dropping a Swift Spectral Tiger. So, obviously, I had to buy one. They're like £100, by the way. They're crazy expensive. And all I got was, yeah, this. <laughs> Not quite a Spectral Tiger. Okay, I'd like to get off now. Okay. Back to the bank. Put them back where they belong. Two Sunhide Gronlings. Now, I camped this so long. I camped it so long back in All of Adrenal Launch. Because it would spawn somewhere in Gorgrond. And there was hundreds of people farming it. And I would never, never get it. I ended up getting it like two years ago. And I just happened to find him again when I was flying to Blackrock Foundry. So I just killed him and put him in my bank. Because <laughs> it took me so long the first time. Um, Tabata Frost. Yeah, these are worth about about a thousand dollars, I think, at the moment. Um, and I've got I've got like five of them actually. Lost my mind when I first got it. Not so much anymore. Tabata the Arcane, same as the Tabata Frost. Tusks of Manoroth. Yeah, that's uh. I don't know why it's not showing. Um, I got this from the black market when they just randomly posted them on there in Shadowlands on every server, and I. I hated running Siege, and there was no skip at the time, so I just bought them. Um, and they're good for time walking as well, because they've got free free gem slots. 
And of course, the obligatory Thunder Fury plus Blade of the Windseeker. Made this in BFA, I think. You know, had to keep it. Can't get rid of that. Okay, let's move on to the bags. I saw the mounts out of the way. First bag, we have <laughs> 14 Vicious Saddles. Uh, if you don't know what they're for, they are for the Vicious War Mounts, uh, which is like a PvP type of mount. You get it from doing Arena or Battlegrounds, I think. Oh, I think it's only Arena, actually. But I have all of them, so I've just got 14 sitting in my bag. Shimmering Time Warped Crystal, I think that's a Time Walking thing. Hyena Salt, I don't know why that's there. That's from Arden World in Shadowlands. Girdle of Unity, uh, Legendary from Shadowlands, again, don't know why that's there. Horseman Sinister Slicer, I, I thought it would be cool to keep. I I've always liked this sword, so yeah. Chain Igniter Coil from Mechagon. I think I kept them because you need them for a mount but that I never got around to making. Same for this as well. Uh, Edwin Van Cleave costume set. Why not? Another legendary from Shadowlands. Okay. Inflatable Thunder Fury. Five charges left. A belt buckle for some reason. Some energy cells from Megagon 2. And a droplet of Yasharaj. All of my tier 3 I've collected over the years. Most of it is Warrior. I have all the Warrior tier 3. There's some Dreamwalker leg guards for some reason. Redemption headpiece, Redemption girdle, yeah. And tier 3 hunter shoulders and tier 3 warrior shoulders. Pretty good. Black Fuse Bombling, Siege of Orgrimmar. It sells for quite a lot, so I just kept it. Um, a Foradol. <laughs> this was the first ever legendary I got back like back in Ward, I think. I ran Sunwell and it just dropped. Or my warrior, so I had to keep it. Some anima for some reason. My first ever Getaku. I got this back in BFA. It took me so long to get. Only Mythic Zero as well. I couldn't even get a Mythic 10 or whatever. So it was so good for PvP that I just kept it. Another Horseman Slicer. An epic one. Why not? A Warglaive as well. My first ever Warglaive. I've since completed it on my Demon Hunter. But yeah. A Legion Legendary for some reason. I guess I thought they worked in Time Walking. Actually they might. I can't remember. A duplicate flag of ownership, because why not? Uh, more time walking stuff. Another time walking axe. Really good, by the way, for time walking. The haste is insane. Yep, another Azerite piece for time walking. And a rune of teleportation. When, <laughs> when did that get there? <laughs> I don't even know how I got that. Okay, weird. Okay, what's in the third bag? Green trophy tablet of the Illidari and a purple trophy tablet. I think this is from a quest in... Well, I know it's from a quest in Outland. I can't remember which one. I guess I just wanted to keep them. Tablet of Fury. That's a, another expensive TCG tablet. It's nice, actually. It goes with quite a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, can't get rid of it. Lock Nahak's Pelt of the Quickblade. I think... Yeah, this is from a rare in Wrath of the Lich King. Maybe Sholazar Basin? Um, they actually sell for quite a bit. And it, it actually looks quite nice for a cloak. I went for a phase on this character for farming stuff uh, so I can make gold. So there's probably a few more things like this in my bank. Um, we'll see. Okay, a quirk, a Nightfire Road pattern. I think this might be my first one, actually. Or maybe this one um, that I ever opened from my, from my box. Uh, another random pattern. Uh, I think I was going to make them. I was going to learn them all and make a video about it. So I've just kept them. Sun Loot of the Phoenix King. A very cool. We'll, we'll put that one actually. I got this in a box. Um, I think I got it when I was in Gorgrond. I remember. Yeah, very cool. I still haven't got the Arcanite Ripper though. But, <laughs> but it's a cool axe nonetheless. There's no way I can sell it. Oh, get rid of it. Okay. Sawbone shirt from. You can't see it. From T -T Scholomance. Corrupted Gladiators Maledict from Season 4 BFA. Um, you could actually use it in Shadowlands. So, same with the Spite as well. well the, the Spite didn't do anything, so I just kept them. My Computation Device from uh, Mechagon. A Philosopher's Stone when I was really into alchemy at one point. A Replica Lion's Heart Shield. I remember they just gave that out to everyone. I can't remember why though. I think it was an anniversary. It looks nice. Um... A sinful Aspirant Sword? I have no idea what that's in there. That is useless. Yeah, some uh, <laughs> Corrupted Gear. Another Knight or a Fire Robe. Another Legion Legendary. 
uh, Devastation's hour. Why does it look like that? <laughs> That's not what it looks like. Okay, I guess the wardrobe is bugged or something. Dragon Spine Trophy. This is really good for time walking, so I kept it. Shaman Loot. <laughs> I got this from a box. I can't open it. Red Dinner Suit. I guess I could learn that. My Heart of Azeroth. An anniversary gift. What anniversary is this from? 18th. Was that recent? I don't know. But 18%, so that means it was the 18th. Okay. Uh, the first Sartus Forders. Very cool shoulders, even on a warrior. Circle of Flame from Blackrock Depths. I guess it must have dropped for me. And another legendary from Shadowlands. Some sharpening stones. A ton more patterns. Yeah, nothing special. So many Nightfire robes. Tablet of Ren Yin. I don't know why I have this. I guess I might. I guess I thought it might have been useful for something. My Queen of Shara's dressing gown with enchanted plus two health. This is an archaeology thing. I think I dug this up in Ashara, maybe? Yeah, pretty cool. Sky Shard for the mount. I think in uh, Pandora. Oh, God, I say I think a lot, don't I? <laughs> um, from Halani, maybe? Ace of Tigers. Broken Kyrian Flute for some reason. Some random quest items. The Die Brew. Five Arcanite bars. This is left over from when I was making my Thunder Fury because I did it all myself. Uh, another red dinner suit. Wait, red dinner suit. Red dinner suit. What? What's the difference? What? There's no difference, but they're both different. Okay. Weird. One's green. One's not. Uh, where are we? Shot of Kier from Shadowlands Season Two. Way more patterns. Oh, this is all my elite gear from when I got glad in um in Shadowlands. I guess it was sentimental to me. Yeah, I wanted to keep it around. Da -da -da. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is all the stuff I was selling or collecting to sell when I was like on the box grind, you know. I was trying to make all the gold to sell the boxes. So we've got a random BOE wrists, blink strike. That's from Burning Crusade, I believe. Talon of the Tempest, yeah, from uh, the boss outside Black Temple. A Shadowlands BOE Epic. Ethereum Nexus Reaver from the same boss. The Pacifier. This is from Classic, but I can't remember where it's from. I think it's just a random world drop. It sells for quite a bit as well. Two Hope Enders, which I believe is from Kazakh. Some uh, boots, some Mythic BOE boots. I think from Legion? Random chest, random gloves. The Night Watchman, also from Burning Crusade. These all sell for quite a lot, but they've just been wasting away my bank. This is from a rare in um, Outland, Shadowmoon Valley. Uh, it's a pretty cool, just like Goggle Transmog, or Monocle, I guess. Some legs. Exodar Life Stuff. I love this. I had like five of them. I gave one to my girlfriend, and I sold the rest, and I've just kept one, I guess. Um... Yeah, really nice stuff. Really underrated. Uh, I should probably I should probably sell this. <laughs> Bow of Seeing Arrows. Useless, but an epic nonetheless. I think that's Island Expedition stuff. Small. Oh, they're the same. Black and Defias Leggings. These, I believe, are unobtainable. I believe they're unobtainable. I sniped them, actually. I remember I sniped them for like 100 gold in the auction house. I think they're worth a lot more because, <laughs> you know, you can't get them anymore. So I'm actually I might be sitting on a sitting on a small fortune here. Who knows? I haven't checked in a while. Another eye, some shoulders, a belt, a chest. That's also from the boss in Shadow Moon Valley. Okay, I had one of these here as well. So when I was like making my legendaries in in uh, Shadowlands, I accidentally bought like three of these. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't just vendor them. I have to try and sell them again, and they've just wasted away in my uh. They've just wasted away in my bank. At least I can collect them as an appearance now, though. That's a pretty cool-looking belt. I should probably try that. Uh, Vile Fumigator's Mask. This is from the Lovers in the Air event. I've had this in my bank for a long time. And now I can collect it as an appearance, so we'll do that. We'll do it for this as well. Another random BOE. And some shoulders. Pretty ugly. Uh, you can see the bags I just gave up. <laughs> this is a 22-slot bag. That's a 20-slot. Oh... Uh, um, another flag of ownership. 
some Heart of Azeroth stuff. My Legion artifact. This is to go with the shield cosmetic that I got. Another legendary, another artifact. A BOE, which I guess I was going to sell but didn't. Cordula. This is pretty cool. I got this. I think I was just, I couldn't sleep one night, so I just farmed this. Um, yeah, I like it. It's a really nice looking sword from Wrath of the Lich King. Another BOE from Shadowlands. I just never sold. Another BOE axe. Gershaw Greens. This is to get the mount in Oldham, the alpaca, but I just never bothered to do it. Uh, part of my elite set. Or maybe this is my first Getaku, actually, because this is enchanted. I wonder why I have two Getakus in my bank. <laughs> yeah, this must be my uh, the one I was using. And my weapon from Shadowlands. And just two pet things to upgrade the quality. But I don't really do pets that much, so... Yeah. And uh, the Malediction. Last bag. Okay, Primal Shadows and Fires. I got these from when I was farming World Bosses. Um, they actually sold for quite a bit, a bit. I was just stockpiling them. Phoenix Hatchling. I uh, just opened that recently. Little Nefarian. I got that from a box. Unobtainable, but you can't sell it, which kind of sucks. Another Gooey Shah. Another Tears for Battling, Sandling, Green Winter Hat, some Pet Chaves, another Elite uh, Medallion from Season 2, and my Sword, some Preserved Holly, Valentine's Day card, and a plain letter. Wait, let's read them. Let's read them. And uh, Edwin Van Cleef costume, again. Dearest Hero Fantic, I look back upon our adventures together as if they happened yesterday. Several of my admirers informed me that you looked rather sullen when we last met. While I see no reason for such behaviour, when you had the pleasure of working with the world-renowned Johnny Awesome, I did feel a twang of, what was it, pity? Being as such, I felt it appropriate to send you this tip as a token of my appreciation for your efforts. Do people still tip? If people do not tip, <laughs> if people do not still tip, please return all attachments to me at once, along with a small amount of coin to cover my shipping costs, Johnny. I mean, this made me laugh. It's from the, I can't remember what quest chain, but you meet Johnny Awesome. Um, oh, it's a postmaster quest chain in Legion to get the Katie stamp whistle, and you have to deliver him his uncollected mail. And he, he has an invincible sitting in the mail, and he's like, oh, I've already got it, or something like that. Yeah, that was funny. I like that. Um... And this is, oh, when I got glad. In case you couldn't tell, I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> in um, Shadowlands, and they send you a letter letting you know. So, yeah, that's it. That's what's in my bank. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess I, I have older characters with more stuff, but seeing as this is my most played, I figured I'd do it on this. But, yeah, if you want to see, like, my rogue or druid or whatever, my older characters, then let me know. I'll probably do it anyway, but, yeah, I think it'll be cool. So... Thanks for coming by. I hope to see you again. Stay part for more. Stay tuned for more unboxings. Yeah, we have a we have a lot of shit to open. So yeah, um, peace.